Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Rainbow Six Three, Black Arrow. This one's called Streets of Milan, and it is one of the many classic boards in this game. Again, um, in this one, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. Again, in this one, music actually plays a big part in, uh, in, the, in this board. Well, they're not a big part, but you know, like, it's just, it's just there, and, and you feel that when you play this, this, uh, this particular mission, and uh, I'll definitely point out that uh, section as it comes along here. So, uh, here we are. Streets of Milan. There's gonna be a douchebag up by this sign. Douchebag down. You guys can hold. Thank you, sirs. Actually, you can come along. My bad. I need you here. I shot him in the head. That was pretty sweet. Don't be an idiot. You guys are idiots. Jeez. See, this is why I avoid. This, this is why I brought them along because they take out that guy. Because I don't like to take out that guy. Taking out him is a bitch. Contact. Contact. Terrorist down. All right. So let's continue along. Eddie, not in front of me. Not in front of me, Eddie. Fuck you. What is dumb shit? Seriously. You guys can hold here. I don't need you up here. Fuck you. Oh my god, that guy sniped me like a bitch. What a creep. Alright, you can re re regroup. Regroup. I think I already mentioned this, but this game has voice capabilities, so you can command these guys around with, with your voice if you have a headset. Uh, but really, it doesn't work that great. So you end up saying, regroup, 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 and it, it never really works. Wow, there's lots of douchebags up here. Yeah, I'll take some cover. These guys just won't give up, will they? God. I'm lucky. Alright. They blew up the bomb, oh no! Okay. There's a douchebag that comes out one of these two windows. Of course, I'm looking at the wrong one. And again, Weber, you're dumb. Anyone watch F1? You no, know Mark Webber. He's an Aussie. Not not a bad racer. Not a bad racer. I like the guy. 
He has no Dietrich Weber, though. That's for dang sure. Or maybe it's the other way around. Dietrich Weber is no Mark Weber. I'm not sure. One of the two. Here's a dude through this door. There's a dead dude through the door. And, uh, we can throw them up through these windows. guy that comes to my left over here at some point maybe not there usually is maybe it's around this next corner Probably what it is. Yeah, I think I got everyone in there. Dietrich will get him. If I didn't. <laughs> All right, here we are coming up to the first hostage. There are, I believe, two hostages in this mission, and we are going to uh, set up some breaching charges here. Pretty standard procedure for the hostage area. If you haven't figured that out already. It's pretty much what I like to do every single damn time. But it works well. That's why I do it every single damn time. And I always give the Zulu command because you never know. You never know if you're not going to be ready. So you got to, you know, there could be a guy that comes out of nowhere. You just don't know. So you got to give the Zulu command. But, uh, so... I really wanted to scope this door like Splinter Cell style, but you can't do that. Oh my god. You guys are fucking idiots. How did it all go so wrong? How did it all go so wrong? not going to go well. He's being held in a garage near your position and the terrorists may decide to kill us rather than risk it. We got way too much to go. Get over here. Why won't you die? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> well, see, that wasn't my fault. There's no way that was my fucking fault. I mean... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Of course, I did walk out there like a freaking idiot, but still. Oops, forgot about that guy. I'm trying to go quick here, if you haven't fucking figured that out. Oh, man. Dude, Eddie. Stay behind me. God damn you. Price, you're a fucking idiot. If I had a freaking dime for every time Eddie or Lewis 
was a total fucking idiot. I'd be a very fucking rich man. 